caring for our community. Tonight, WKBN 27 has uh, teamed up with our sister stations across Ohio, and we're asking you to donate to the Second Harvest Food Bank. In fact, 35% more people are receiving help from Second Harvest since the COVID-19 crisis started. First News anchor Stan Boney is live at Second Harvest to tell us about how great the need well, really is. This is the warehouse at Second Harvest Food Bank, and we are here this evening because we are raising some money for the Second Harvest Food Bank. If you would like to donate, you can call the number on your screen, 844-442-2554. Pick up that phone. Give us a call right now. If you can't get through on the phone number, you also can log on to WKBN.com, the WKBN mobile app. Go to the story through there. You can find a link to donate through that as well. Joining me now is Becky Page of Second Harvest Food Bank, one of the people that helped put together the traveling food banks or the pop-up food banks that have been around the area. How did those come about? Um, in the early weeks of the pandemic, we were quickly hearing from our member agencies about the increase in the number of people coming to them for food assistance. So our team here got together um, with the resources provided with the National Guard. We came together and we want to look at rural areas where we don't have a lot of brick and mortar food pantries and meal sites to try to ease some of this need off of the 150 food pantries and meal sites we have distributing in Columbia and Mahoney and Trumbull County. Has it been bigger than you even thought it was going to be? More people than you thought would show up? It is bigger than anything I've seen in my 16 year tenure here. Um, never seen the lines this long. Our food pantries are seeing almost 18,000 people a week. Wow. Um, and through our traveling pop-up distributions, we've had one in each county now. Um, we've distributed over 170,000 pounds of food through that program to people quickly because we know time is of the essence when you're in need of food. Um, and we're set to um, start our second round of distributions next week. If you had 18,000 in a week now, what did you have pre-COVID? Pre-COVID, we were just over 11,000 people a week. So not quite double, but you're getting there. Not quite double, but roughly about 40% increase in the number of people. Okay. How badly do you need donations and money, especially right now? Right now, um, money and donations of food are needed more than ever before. Um, we're projecting that this is going to be going on. The lines are going to be long for the next 18 to 24 months. Um, as people start to go back to work, they're still going to be struggling financially from the bills that they already haven't paid or you know, rent right. and light bills are going to come before food. So our, our team here, our team of pantries throughout the Tri-County area are going to stand ready for the next year and a half, we believe, to meet this need. Becky Page, thank you very much. Uh, once again, if you would like to donate to the Second Harvest Food Bank, the number is 844-442-2554. Again, you can donate online through WKBN.com and the WKBN mobile app. We're going to be staying. We're going to man these phone lines until 8 o'clock tonight. So we are going to be here for about two more hours. If you'd like to make a donation, please do it. Live at the Second Harvest Food Bank, Stan Boney, WKBN 27 First News. All right, some of you are on the other end of the spectrum, too. If you need food, you can call 211. That's the help network. You can get the instructions for that help over the phone. But if you want to donate to help Second Harvest, again, 844-442-2554.